President Joe Biden says that he is holding Iran accountable for its recent attack on Israel. He also sent his top diplomat overseas to meet with allies to discuss the wars in the Middle East and Ukraine. Secretary of State Antony Blinken stands alongside foreign ministers from the G7 and African Union. The war in Ukraine represents one of the pressing issues discussed at their meetings in Italy. Blinken calls on Congress to pass more funding for the war effort. If Putin is allowed to proceed with impunity, we know he won't stop at Ukraine uh, and we can uh, safely predict that his aggression will continue. Ukraine's foreign minister told Secretary Blinken that Ukraine is under constant attack and needs more air defenses. I don't think any other country in the world would be capable of fighting against Russia, country of this size and influence and military potential. Another hot topic, the war in the Middle East. Secretary Blinken and the other G7 representatives sat down to speak about that, too. And just today, President Joe Biden released a statement saying he is imposing new sanctions and export controls on Iran. Biden writes, let it be clear to all those who enable or support Iran's attacks. The United States is committed to Israel's security. Former President Donald Trump also inserting himself into world affairs. He met the Polish president in Trump Tower for dinner Wednesday night. That country sits on the border with Ukraine and has sheltered many of its refugees. The Trump campaign writes, the two presidents who are great friends discussed President Duda's proposal for NATO countries to go to 3% spending on their defense.